and welcome back to The Bright Side with me, Sophia. I hope you've been keeping well since last week's video and that you enjoyed it. It's National Gardening Week, everybody. So happy National Gardening Week for anybody who didn't know. This week's Bright Friday story is very fitting with that theme. I've also got my green bright side jumper on, so it's all matching, it's all falling into place, we're ready to go. Today we'll be hearing from two interviewees. First up we've got Chloe Craig, who's a cover teacher based down in Nottinghamshire. She's always been into gardening, but last year during the first lockdown she bought her first allotment. That's allowed her to grow even more vegetables and a greater variety of vegetables. And secondly, a little bit further down south, we've got Laura Griggs, who's based in Sussex. She runs the Dates to Dahlia's Instagram page where she shares her gardening experience. Just like Chloe, she bought her first allotment in lockdown last year and has been able to experiment with some new flowers. I know things are slowly moving forward here in the UK. We're in the second phase of the roadmap out of our restrictions, so things are opening up and looking a bit different but I'm still very much aware that it's not the same for everyone everywhere so let's just remember that and I encourage everybody to still stay informed and be sensitive to other people's situations. These videos are here to brighten your day, put a smile on your face and share some stories that you wouldn't have otherwise heard of if it wasn't for the bright side. Now let's get on with our story today. Let's first hear from Chloe Craig in Nottinghamshire. I always think about first lockdown just being the best lockdown because it it really did give me the opportunity to spend so much time gardening and how much I got back from it as well. Like five days a week I'd be there, I'd just take a picnic with me, sort of dig and sow and water and then also just listen to the radio <laughs> while I was there because it was such a lovely, you know, just enjoying the sun. I think it was one of those where when you stuck at home, it was such a a lovely like respite to get away to and focus on other things and to sort of stop you going a little bit insane so it was great at that point. Gardening is such a, an amazing thing because even if you don't have any experience with gardening it isn't difficult to you can't really go wrong as long as you sort of watering and um, weeding and sort of general maintenance. It definitely helps me focus on something and it helps me move as well. Being outside in the fresh air is much better than sort of being sat in my room. So it's quite um, therapeutic and almost like meditative. So for Chloe, the hobby is very much something that relaxes her and she's not the only one. 35% of Brits say they garden because it helps relax them. And between the months of March and April last year in the first lockdown, the time that people spent gardening and doing DIY actually doubled. So there's clearly something to it. And another great thing about gardening that Chloe has found is the community aspect to it. She is the youngest allotment owner in her local meadows and she struck up some friendships with unlikely people people that maybe she wouldn't have interacted with if it wasn't for the fact they had this shared interest. Take a look. I'd say per meadow there's the opportunity for like 30 to 40 people to have an allotment. The community aspect of it, especially being like the youngest person on there by sort of a good 15 or 20 years, I thought it was great. I, I absolutely loved it. People who I'd have never have usually spoken to just due to age, suddenly I was very friendly with. You sort of having tours around their allotments and seeing everything that they grow. You know, you don't feel lonely at the allotment, even if you are the only person there because you get to see everyone else's work. You still sort of feel um, like you're a part of something and you can see other people's progress as well. It was definitely, like a massive community thing and see gardening brings people together <laughs> it's very wholesome i'm sure chloe really appreciated having that space during the first few months of this crazy time and now over to laura griggs who first fell in love with gardening when she agreed to help her parents tidy up their garden area she now has her own allotment which is shaping up to be a very beautiful green space it became somewhat of a sanctuary and place for her to escape the pressures of lockdown and the last year they'd come back from the allotment um, as, as lockdown was happening and mum was a little bit upset because it wasn't in the state that they'd like it. I mean, I quite like a challenge. I was like, right, I've had enough. We're going to the allotment, we're gonna get this sorted. Over about six weekends, we were there all day, every day. I kind of almost fell in love with this silly bit of land. And over the summer last year, I mean, it became a place that I just really enjoyed going to for 
study breaks, you know, is, is a bit of a release from <laughs> the the stresses and the strains of everyday sort of life. And, and, and it's a lovely hobby as well. I mean, you know, we talk to people about the need, I think, to have hobbies. I think what's happened over the last year is people have um, really kind of woken up to that, that mm-hmm. hobbies are so important for all of us. You know, what you've kind of stumbled across here, I guess, on Instagram is, is a community that exists. And that's something I didn't know about mm-hmm. until I started my page. And I've met so many amazing people on there that do that do so many different things and encourage one another. It's a great, it is a great community and one in which I found some real you know, genuine friends yeah. through as well. Um, so it's nice because it's extended my friendship pool out into people as well who have that shared interest. So there are two examples of gardening providing some relief and friendships for two women during the most difficult time or one of the most difficult times that this nation has seen and it's great to see it. I did try and do a spot of gardening myself but I'm here in Manchester and the weather here is just very unreliable. If you're from around here then you know it rains pretty much all the time. As somebody who has never actually gardened before. I wanna save my first experience of that hobby for a day that's as bright as this page is. And that's all for today's Bright Friday story. Like I said, happy National Gardening Week. I hope all you gardeners out there enjoyed this video. Share it with all your friends. Thank you to Chloe and Laura for sharing your story with us and showing us your amazing allotments that look really fab. I'll leave their accounts in the caption below if that's something you'd be interested in looking at. And thank you to all of you for tuning back in to another Bright Friday story. It's great to have you here. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, if you have a story of your own, then please get in touch with me. You can email me at thebrightsideuk21 at gmail.com or you can message me on any of my socials, which I will A, leave in the caption and B, you can find on the Instagram highlights called Get In Touch. Check back in on Monday to find out what the next Bright Friday story is. But until then, stay safe and have a very bright day. Bye.